Hi, I'm Teresa Miller, Secretary of Pennsylvania's Department of Human Services. 2018 has been a busy year for all of us at DHS. We've spent this year strengthening our programs so that more Pennsylvanians can use services that help them lead healthy, fulfilling lives from birth through their elder years. This year's budget included a $51.9 million investment in home visiting services around the Commonwealth. Home visitors help parents understand their child's needs as they develop and can help parents confidently serve as their child's first teacher. Working with a home visitor with my own daughter has been a tremendous learning experience, and I strongly encourage all parents to utilize these programs that can help you better understand and bond with your child. The budget also included $74 million in support of programs and services for Pennsylvanians with intellectual disabilities and autism spectrum disorder. This funding helps public school graduates with autism or an intellectual disability access support services at the time of graduation instead of waiting up to six months for service, helping them maintain and grow skills learned in school. Combined with last year's budget, the Wolf Administration has invested nearly $100 million to help more Pennsylvanians achieve an everyday life. As the Commonwealth fights the opioid crisis, we continue to use access to and engagement in treatment as our most valuable tool to help people with opioid use disorder. The Centers of Excellence are an important part of this for Medicaid enrollees battling opioid use disorder. And as of November, nearly 15,000 people have received treatment that makes recovery possible through a Center of Excellence. Community Health Choices, Pennsylvania's new managed care program for people dually eligible for Medicaid and Medicare and individuals 21 and over requiring long-term services and supports, was successfully launched in Southwest Pennsylvania earlier this year and will roll out in Southeast Pennsylvania on January 1st of 2019. We will continue to support Southwest and Southeast residents as we move towards the final phase of implementation in the remainder of the state. By the end of implementation, 420,000 Pennsylvanians will have a stronger voice in choosing how and where they receive care, allowing more people to live at home in their community. On behalf of all of us at the Department of Human Services, I wish you and your family a happy and safe holiday season and a very happy new year. I look forward to continuing to serve you all in 2019.